I kind of took uh, the best of the best of both burgers that I loved and uh, thought we'd turn them into one amazing burger for the summer. And it's um, basically a blue cheese burger with a red wine butter that goes on top. Uh-huh. The Dell's is all about over the top. This burger is over the top, trust me, but you can do it at home. So we're going to start with some nice, lean, good quality ground beef. This is beautiful stuff that we just picked up at the festival. And then we're going to season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. I know, so so excited about today's show that I, I didn't get to my coffee. So yeah, thank you, Ann. Uh -huh. All right, now we'll get to the recipe. And now I'm going to add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. I want to keep this burger all about some of the great flavors that are going on on the outside. Uh, the, the blue cheese that we're going to put on top and this amazing butter. So I'm going to keep the seasonings in the beef pretty simple. Just a little bit of Worcestershire, salt, and pepper. And I just washed my hands, so we're going to get in there and make these burgers. Uh, now the one thing when you're making burgers is you don't want to over mix them. So you know, just kind of gently form your patties. And of course they do some nice big patties in Wisconsin Dells. Get some big wonderful burgers there. We'll show you some of the, the neat food we found coming up. Got all things to show you. We'll get two of them going here. You just don't want to overdo it, I guess. Overwork them. There we go. Get that going. All right. Give my hands a wash. And we're going to get to work on one of the things that makes this burger so special. And that is a red wine herb butter that you can brush on top of burgers or steaks when you're grilling them. And wow, I mean, come on, nothing better. It's like a butter burger, but taking it to the whole next level with some garlic and herbs. Flavor butters are so easy to make. They're very much on trend. You're seeing them all over, you know, you go to the fancy restaurants, you go to a steakhouse, you'll see some maybe a, a flavored butter on top of your steak or on your chicken or on your fish. They're really easy to do at home. Um, and there's so many different flavors that you can do. This one we're going to keep pretty simple. So, and I'm going to do this in the food processor. You can do it by hand. Soften the butter just a little bit. So take it out of the refrigerator and have it a little bit softened. I like to use unsalted butter, but it doesn't really matter. A little salt and pepper is great in here if you're using unsalted. If you're using salted, of course, don't add the salt. Some garlic. And then I've got some fresh herbs. Um, you know, there's a lot of different herbs you can do in here. I'm kind of thinking there's blue cheese going on in this burger, so I want to keep it pretty simple. And I really don't need to chop up too, too much. Uh, the food processor will do most of it for me. So you can't go wrong with flat leaf Italian parsley. That's going to give it a nice, fresh flavor. Then we've got a little bit of rosemary, which rosemary, you know, comes almost looks like a pine tree and you just run your fingers down the needles and there you go. Uh, rosemary can be very, very strong, so a little dab will do you. I love fresh thyme. Um, and again, same thing, kind of just strip the leaves off the thyme. And that is a great flavor in this butter. And then we could do a little bit of fresh chive in here too. Love to grow fresh herbs. In. We actually have a, a pot of herbs here on our deck. But if you don't have them, you can pick them up at the farmer's market or you can just buy them at Festival Foods. But that's really what's going to make the difference here. So real simple, butter and some herbs and garlic, a little salt and pepper if you're using unsalted butter. And here's the, it's a red wine butter. So we're going to do just a little dab, about a tablespoon of a dry red wine. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. Maybe the bottle of wine that you're going to be serving with this burger. That's still going to give it some great flavor. All right, we're going to get our check on our burgers here. I think they're going to need a flip. Yep. I know, they smell delicious, don't they? Get those going. And get to work on our butter. So I just want to 
mix this so that the garlic gets all incorporated with the butter and there's the herbs get in there too. You can smell that dry red wine. And Sprecher's Brewing Company, which is a new place in Wisconsin Dells, actually they have this butter and they put it on all of their burgers and their steaks and it really gives it some great flavor. Looks great. I'm going to do a little bit more. Maybe fresh parsley. Maybe a little bit more thyme. Just make sure there are plenty of great herb flavor in there. Maybe a little bit more chive too. It's a real concentrated butter. Lots of great flavor. And if you have any wonderful secret places in the Dells or your favorite spots, please let us know. We're always looking for those really fun places. All right, this is just about done. Now, this butter can actually be stored in the refrigerator for a week or so, or you can freeze it and, it'll, and wrap it real well in plastic wrap, and it'll actually keep in your freezer uh, for a good three months. And then if you're grilling burgers another time or steak, you've got that butter right there. Check on these burgers. All right, at this point, I'm gonna start putting some of that wonderful herb butter on the top. And you do that kind of toward the end of the grilling. So it's got the herbs and that red wine, a little bit of that butter on, over the top. And this burger just keeps getting better and better, doesn't it, Ann? Mm -hmm. Yeah, good stuff. Just a little dab will do you. You don't need a whole ton, but it's gonna add some great flavor. Yeah, how good does that look? Now, we're gonna make these even better. If you are into blue cheese and love that combination of beef and steak and blue cheese or burgers and blue cheese, and that's another thing that's very, very much on trend, um, is combining blue cheese with burgers or steak, and it just takes them to a whole nother level. So I'm gonna take some blue cheese, and I'm gonna crumble it over the top. Now, sometimes when you do this, the blue cheese doesn't really melt. So what I found and I saw them do, doing at some, some of the restaurants in the Dells is they take that burger and they finish it off under the broiler. So get it off the grill. Now you could certainly just cover the grill and maybe throw a sheet of foil over the bottom or over the top, I should say. Loosely kind of throw it over the top when you're grilling. But this is a, a for sure way you're gonna be able to get that cheese to melt is throw it under the broiler for just a minute or two. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna let that melt, Oops. lower my broiler rack, be careful not to put it too high up there. You want it close to the top, but not too high. So I'm gonna let this blue cheese just hang out under the broiler for just a minute or two. And when we come back, we'll put these blue cheese, red wine, butter burgers, um, on a plate and show you how wonderful they are.